Well, we seem to have some uh, somebody in the um, YouTube uh, uh, universe who just got an Ender 5 Plus and is uh, uh, commenting that his uh, print bed isn't heating up. So I wanted to kind of give him some things to look at uh, if he hasn't already fixed it. Um, here in uh, Creality's version of Cura, come up to the machine settings right there, click on it, and then come down to machine settings and make sure, let me zoom in here, oops, wrong way, make sure that box is checked. Uh, if it's not checked, uh, I doubt very much you're going to get to uh, anything uh, I don't have time right now to actually confirm, but I think when that's clicked off, let's see what happens here. Yep, see, the, the, the option disappears when you close the box. So make sure, number one, that you've got the option in your basic settings, and if not, come up here to machine settings, check that box, Click OK, and now all of a sudden you'll have the bed temperature uh, option back. The other thing you can do is, if that's checked out OK, come across here with a digital vote ohm meter and have it in the ohm setting. You can get them uh, for as cheap as uh, about 10 bucks, I believe, at Harbor Freight, and a little bit more at Home Depot if you don't have a Harbor Freight in your town. Um, the resistance here should be about 2 ohms, and then check your thermistor. That should be at room temperature, approximately 5K. If those settings are okay, then what you're going to have to do, unfortunately, is open up the control box, and you'll see all by itself the module that controls the, uh, uh, the bed element, and its, uh, its issue could be that the uh, high current lines that go to the terminal blocks on the controller board could have popped off in transit to um, these boxes. I know mine was pretty dinged up when I got it. It's, it's like these uh, drivers and people in the warehouse want to see how far they can drop kick these things. And um, if, if you do decide to open it up, I'm not a fan of setting the printer on its side, but if you've got to, Make sure you do it on the left side and you provide something on both the front and rear ends set on these corners so that you protect your uh, um, belt tensioner up here uh, for uh, the, the uh, XY gantry. Well, actually to protect the XY gantry in whole uh, because you'd be laying the printer on it. So um, give that a try and hopefully uh, it's as simple as simply the box not checked in Cura uh, or the Creality version of Cura. And if that is checked, that it's just a wire on the terminal block that popped out in transit. Uh, hope that helps. Uh, this is again going to be kind of a kind of a orphan video just so I can post something. I'll see you uh, with some updates on what I found. Um, which turned out to be uh, as simple as just the resin temp. I mean, the uh, filament temperature. I went by what. Uh, well, no, I'm not going to talk about it. We'll, we'll, I'll be doing a separate video on that. But, anyways, I got some printouts to show. So, anyways, see you all a little bit later on this afternoon. Bye.